What's up, Peep Squad? Peep Squad is in the building. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'd be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart. My peeps, my peoples, Peep Squad is in the building. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's get down to the situation with Bobby Brown and Kim Ward. They have decided to address the media, address the public, and address the people that they think that is involved in their son, Bobby Brown Jr., departing from this earth, which is really a terrible situation all the way two children through addiction departed from this earth that's really really a sad sad situation you know you need strength but let's get down to bobby brown and kim ward actually addressing the issue and calling for justice for their son bobby brown bobby brown called for those who supplied fentanyl to be held responsible after his son's death bobby brown jr died last year of a accidental overdose of cocaine fentanyl and alcohol according to the autopsy and the toxicology report released on monday and so this is why bobby brown is speaking this is why kim ward is speaking because now they finally got the answers that they needed to know about this situation. And, you know, Bobby Brown Jr. was found in Bobby Brown's home. It's a beautiful home. And he's hurt. Kim Ward, they, she's hurt too as well. And they're calling for justice because they feel that their son, Bobby Brown Jr., is easily influenced. And also, they believe that he was set up. That he, they believe that somebody put the fentanyl in his bottle in his water and something that he was not aware of it and they believed that they were intending for their son to depart from this earth whoever that assailant is so you guys let me know so bobby brown and kim ward are speaking out about the death of their late son bobby brown jr one day after the autopsy and the toxicology report were released the 28 year old death last fall was the result of a accidental overdose of cocaine, fentanyl, and alcohol reports released by the Los Angeles Police Department on Monday revealed in a statement attained by People Tuesday, Brown and Ward said that they believe someone provided their son with the drugs that led to his overdose. Ward says that Brown Jr. was not into drugs. Bobby was often easy influence, she said. This is a situation where his association with the wrong people and he associated himself with the wrong people. My son is gone. And she's just really hurt about the situation. My son is gone. And those who contribute to his senseless death should be held accountable. Lord, that just hurts. You know the pain in that situation because it's like, you know, tragedy strikes twice. And that with two children of Bobby Brown, like Lord have mercy. And also the couple's attorney, you know, Christopher Brown said that they think Bobby Brown Jr. may have consumed the fentanyl without his knowledge. And we believe it killed him. So basically they believe that him assume him consuming the fentanyl without his knowledge, that's what really, you know, took him out of here because he didn't know that that was actually in his drink. So, you know, it's really, really a tragic situation all the way around. You know, this is something that it, it got to hurt. So it, it got to hurt, you know, we know it hurts, but also, um, Bobby Brown Jr. died a social of a accidental overdose of cocaine, fentanyl, and alcohol, according to the coroners. The attorney added that while Bobby Brown Jr. had traces amount of drugs in his system, the fentanyl amount was fatal, were found in his heart and his blood. And you know his son already had a heart condition and he was born with heart problems. So therefore, this was just something that if someone didn't know Bobby Brown Jr. and they gave him, you know, this drink that was laced with the fentanyl could really be a tragic situation because he already had a weak heart. So you guys let me know what you think about this situation. This is just really, really sad. And also, the family attorney continues to mourn and Bobby Brown and, you know, Kim Ward. They are mourn mourning the death of their son. This is just crazy. Bobby Brown's only 52 and he lost two kids already. This is just really, really crazy. 
I'm just, mm, mm, mm. So you guys let me know what you think about this situation. It's just, it's just really sad that Bobby Brown had all his success. But basically some of the choices that he made, he made good choices, becoming a great entertainer, becoming a legend. But then at the same time, making the choice of using, being, being addicted or using, you know, substances end up developing into a disease and then that trickled down to his children and then he even married a woman which we love all day every day Whitney Houston which contributes to both of their you know fatal situation you know with their children so it's just really 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 a sad situation all the way um mm, mm, mm. and just how his choices really affect his children and how he has two children that have departed from this earth due to their father's addiction. It's not that he choked, he told them to go do it, but they see mommy and, well, you know, Bobby Christina, she's seen mommy and daddy. And, you know, also Bobby Brown Jr., his stepmother and his father. So it's just really, really, just really sad. I mean, to have so much success, to be so you know, loved, and then at the same time, suffer this tragic, tragic amount of loss, you know, mm, mm, mm. so you guys let me know what you think about the situation, it's just really, really sad, I don't even know what else to say about the situation, you know, Bobby Brown did a lot, Bobby Brown had issues, you know, he didn't grow up wealthy, you know, he grew up poor, he grew up in the projects, and then getting into the music business and being successful as he was, you know, and then being in an environment, and then also growing up in a household with people having the same addiction that you, that he later ended up developing as a teenager, an adult, and then having all the money in the world to spend on it, where you can fry chicken, you know, with some powder like what's going on like he did a whole lot and you know there's a lot of other people that are celebrities that are you know entertainers like rock stars and they haven't they haven't suffered the tragic loss of bobby brown some of them have but the tragic loss with bobby brown is just like two a boy and a girl like lord have mercy and then there's also talks that you know other things that happen with his family members and his marriage now. But in any event, you know, just losing two children got to be the most heart-wrenching thing that you can heart ache that you can ever, ever experience or, you know, go through like your mind. Like your mind is going to go to your children all day long. You're going to have memories. You're going to have thoughts. You're going to have visions. You're going to have feelings. And, you know, you're supposed to move on. But I don't know how you can. But you try to because you have to. But like, mm, mm, mm. This is just really, really, really tragic. And, you know, with that situation... It just makes you, it just makes you want to cry like, Lord, and then these children, these poor children that end up choosing, you know, to follow in their family footsteps of their um, parents' footsteps is just really, really, you know, devastating. I mean, devastating. You know, the guilt, you know, the guilt that Bobby Brown must feel and the guilt that Whitney Houston felt before, felt before she left this earth. Lord, mm, 